So this this is going to be big though. This this is a G. We're talking about a G20 G8 meetings taking place in Ontario. I guess the G8 is going to be up north, but the G20 will be actually right here in downtown Toronto. Um, yes. wh what are you thinking about this? I'm thinking that this is a wonderful opportunity for Canadians, uh, for the Canadian public, to let the world know that we are not happy with the way things are being done. Uh, we're going to have media coverage from every major country in the world here in Toronto. And this is a good time to voice your opposition to some of the terrible things that have been going on in this country. Exactly. And uh, what, what, what are some of the ways that, that people can do it? I, I think um, I've heard that there, are, there have been some meetings already of, of activists meeting uh, trying to plan out things. Uh, what's going on? Uh, well, there are several th organ, there's several things happening, but the key thing is the Toronto Community Mobilization Network is organizing and planning a number of different events, uh, protests, rallies, marches, entertainment events, uh, to go on throughout the, the, the G20. Now, there's also uh, a People's Summit that is organizing to go on just prior to the G20 to, to they're proposing to put on a summit of their own about the people's concerns rather than the economists. Uh, I am just gotten started with a group of people last... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had our first meeting. We're, we're setting up a media center for, <clears throat> for, for alternate media so that we will have the same kind of facilities available to, to us as mainstream media have for their, for their people. So you'll be able to, we'll be able to have computer access, internet access, telephones, desks, so there will be a place centralized where people, uh, in, independent media people can come and work. And we will be issuing media uh, ident identity badges so that uh, it's not going to be a public space. It's going to be for media people to come in and get their job done. Awesome. Yeah, I got, I got to look into that. We're going to look into that, I guess, on the Word of Mouth Wednesday coming up uh, in the countdown, I guess, to June. Can I, I do mention one thing there? Yeah. Uh, we're having a meeting about the media uh, center tomorrow, and if you go to the web to to the Recession Relief Coalition website on the actions page, that's where you you get a listing of what's coming up. You can get the details if you're interested in coming out and helping out. Okay, awesome. And then, uh, and you mentioned the People Summit. I got the website there. I think it's peoplesummit2010.ca, and they've got listed the dates June 18th to the 27th. I guess the 27th. That's around the time that the actual G20 is going that's on. But correct. I guess they're going to have they're going to start the week earlier, uh, which so hopefully there there is going to be a lot of uh, good activist events coming up. Um, but in terms of this this uh, the, the the activism um, and resistance to the to a to a G20 meeting, with, with, with how uh, with your history in activism, how how big uh, would you say this is in in terms of Toronto? Uh, uh. Up until up until this, the Vietnam War created the largest activism that was happening in, in Toronto in my lifetime. And I think that this is going to make uh, the turnout for things like that seem small. Nice. I think that we've got people from, from all over the world, activists from all over the world, coming to Toronto to speak out against what the G20 are doing. Right, right, and this uh, the 20, 20 world leaders, 20 of the biggest uh, economies in the world meeting up uh, and discussing discussing the ways or the move, their plans for the future, I guess. Um, how, how, how is it, you know, I think we had you on in the fall, we were talking about the, the recession still going on and this was a year, I guess, after it had, they had said, said that it had started officially or so, uh, so now we're even we're even past that now. Is this recession uh, how how uh, how much do you think this recession is affecting uh, 
People well, still you know, going like on. it's funny, the media and the economists are all saying, well, we're in recovery now, the recession's over, hallelujah, good times are here. Mm -hmm. But tell that to the guys that have lost their job, that aren't getting jobs back, or if they're getting a job. And here's another thing, they're saying, well, we created all kinds of new jobs in the economy recently, but people are losing, people are losing high-paying jobs. <laughs> In many, ca in many cases, unionized jobs and being forced into taking menial labor at, at sometimes half of what they're used to, which is going to create some drastic repercussions in the economy as people start losing their homes because with these lower paying jobs they can't make their payments or can't pay their rent. Now, and then we've got people that that have been on unemployment insurance and the unemployment insurance is starting to run out. And naively they have expected that, that there would be a safety net there when the unemployment insurance run out in the, term, in the form of uh, social assistance. But you cannot receive Ontario Works until you're virtually bankrupt. You have to lose your pension plan, you have to lose your home, you have to lose your fancy car. You only allow a few hundred dollars in total assets before you qualify for, for, for welfare. So these people are going to be facing permanent poverty because once you get down that far, it's almost impossible to get back up. And you're, you're an interesting uh, person to be uh, talking about this with because your history is, uh, well, in, in this matter, an interesting thing, you can check out your uh, site downbutnotout.synthesite.com and you can even see pictures of you uh, from uh, as recently as a uh, 2002 New Year's Eve, and you're living in a shack. You're uh, you're homeless and living in li living in a shack. Um, so you, I I I I suspect that you have a lot of uh, of knowledge of of the streets. How, how, what are things like going on in the streets now? Uh, well, actually, it's changing. It's it's getting it's getting uh, more difficult because there are a lot more people becoming homeless. Uh, don't let the don't let the politicians school you, uh, the bureaucrats school you about how they're housing people because they're housing a few, but there are far more people becoming homeless than there are being housed. Uh, the the but you could tell you could tell just by over the past few years, homelessness was basically a downtown core problem up until a few years ago. Now it doesn't matter where you go in the city, you're going to see people begging. Uh, as far away as the 401. I mean, like, there's no, there's no limit to, 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 no border to, to where the homeless people are going because there's so many of them. There's no room for them downtown. They can't survive. Exactly, and the, 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 um, th this, this is why the work that you're doing with the Recession Relief Coalition is is very important, and that's why I got to thank you for. For doing for doing all the good work you're doing, uh, is is there anything uh, else that you'd like to uh, to mention? Uh, I think that uh, if if there's anybody out there that has any concern, I wish they would contact me. We're looking for active volunteers to get involved and help us spread the word and help us to to do the work that needs to be done to get the politicians to listen. Uh, you can email me at Ronzig at recession-relief-coalition.org and I'll be very happy to hear from you. Awesome, man. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, Ron Zig, Ron Craven, th thank you a lot for coming in today. Thanks for having me, Daniel. All right.